Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Marine Conservation Society's Crammond Beach Watch podcast. So my name's Catherine Gemmell, I'm the Scotland Conservation Officer for MCS and together with my manager Callum Duncan, who's our Head of Conservation Scotland, we've been taking part in the MCS Beach Watch project at Crammond Beach in Edinburgh. So what this involves is us adopting a 100 metre stretch of our local beach down at Crammond and not only cleaning up the rubbish from it four times a year, we also get loads of amazing volunteers down to help do a litter survey as well which all gets uploaded to the MCS website so our policy and pollution teams can start to do different campaigns to combat some of the issues of the things we're finding on our beach. So this little podcast is just a short and sweet one and we interviewed some of the amazing volunteers that came down with us on our first event of 2017 back in January so I hope you enjoy it and we hope to have a few more additions as we do more beach cleans throughout the year. There we go. So here we're down on Crammon Beach with volunteer Catherine, and I believe you found something a bit interesting. Hello, yeah. So I found a lovely set of dentures on the beach. Uh, it's definitely a new one for the books. We've not found that before. So where do you reckon that might have come from? Gosh, I have no idea. I, I, all I know is someone's going to be missing them terribly. Somebody's going to be missing them terribly now <laughs> as well. Oh, fantastic. And thanks so much for coming along. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, so we're a bit further along the beach at Crammon now and we've come across a very keen new group of volunteers. So I've got Leia here. So Leia, who are you guys and why did you come along today? Um, we are part of the Napier Sub Aqua Club and we came along just to clean up um, this beach here and give um, some input into marine conservation. That's um, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming along. So what kind of things have you been finding today? We found loads of wet wipes. Um, that's the most we found. Um, we found a lot of plastic pieces and um, cigarette buds, some fishing net as well. That's not uh-huh. so good. No, a lot of mixture, uh, cans, lots mm-hmm. of stuff. So when you guys go diving, do you guys find litter underwater much? Yes, or? you do as well. Yes, uh-huh. we do. And even um, like industrial waste, Yeah. you know, like car batteries and things like that. Uh-huh. Really things that shouldn't be out exactly, there Exactly, definitely. All. So definitely a future action, we'll try and organise an underwater sure, and that'd beach be great. Uh-huh. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you guys all for coming along. No worries. Thank you for organising it. There we go. So we've moved on to our next section at Cram and Beach. And we're with a group here with Claudia, Emma and local green MSP, Alison Johnson. So how have you guys been finding it this morning? Um, challenging, fun um, and great to feel that you are making a positive difference. But I think as usual, it's always a bit... It's a bit frustrating to see what people are still flushing down the loo. So I think it's really important that we raise awareness, that people understand that when they flush something down the loo, there's a really good chance it's going to end up on their local beach. I completely agree. And thank you so much. We've got our wet wipe petition there going. So thank you if you guys have signed that already as well. What's the most unusual thing that you guys have found this morning? I know you're holding the survey form there, Claudia. What's the most unusual thing? I think we found a glove. Like yeah, a yeah. and like the ones we use. Well. Oh, firework, a, a yeah. firework as well, yeah. possibly yeah. from New Year's celebrations. We had yeah. someone else who found a New Year's <laughs> cracker. The most oh. unusual thing so far has been a denture. Oh. Somebody's oh. found a denture this morning as well. So all the weird and wonderful. But thank you guys so much for coming along. Yeah, Not thank at all. You for thank you. <laughs> So there we have it. Thank you so much for listening today and thank you to all the wonderful volunteers that came along back in January. We had an amazing 52 volunteers helping out at Crammond back in January and together you all picked up 42 bags worth of rubbish weighing nearly 250 kilos. So a brilliant effort from all. Our next event is going to be celebrating Earth Day on the 22nd of April and we would love to see you there. If you're not around Edinburgh at the time, head to the MCS website where you'll be able to find loads of different events going on or why not adopt a beach near you. But thanks so much everyone and look out for the next podcast coming to you later on in spring.